What's up, everyone? We're back in the messenger, and through most of last episode, we got through... Where is it? Through Voodkin Shore. We started off at the beach, we went most of the way across the island, got... How many pieces of the voodoo mask? Three pieces of the voodoo mask. So we've got a few more secret areas we need to find. Um, there was a boss at the end of the, of the shore. We died against it like five times. It turned out to be this universe's version of the green spirit friend that was controlling the golem back in the... What was it? What was it called again? Yeah, back in the Howling Grotto in uh, our original run through of the game. And then now we've made it... We've started climbing Fire Mountain, the volcano, because apparently um, instead of actually attacking us, it was inhabiting a tiki, so it could do a ritual to appease the volcano, so it won't, so it won't erupt. And now it's totally gonna erupt. Well, of course we gotta climb it. And also, this is very pretty. I said it before, but this is very pretty. So, let's start our climb. This time around, instead of climbing an icy mountain, now we're climbing a very fiery one. Or rather, there's no fire yet. Oh, there it is. Hello! Please, don't. Hi, friend. Did you just, like, not? Okay, I can just leave him there. Yeah, like, these- like, like, these guys aren't, uh, hostile. Chat. Current area. Fire Mountain, huh? Time for a sunset hike. Fire Mountain? Why isn't it just called the Volcano? I'm not sure. Apparently some kid named this one. Look, as long as you take the climb, you can call it whatever you want. Story time! How many stories? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a couple of farmers who inherited a very peculiar patch of land. Indeed, once every harvest season, it would grow a gigantic crystal pumpkin. After a few years of living a very wealthy life by dominating a crystal market with fruit, the farmers were taken over by greed. Surmising that the pumpkin patch had to be laying over a crystal mine of some sort, they dug up all the plants and shoveled dirt while fantasizing about what they would do with all their riches. Unfortunately, as it quickly dawned on them, there was no rare mineral patch to be found. The one thing they did find, however, was that in destroying their pumpkin patch, they had forfeited all future chances of getting their yearly giant crystal fruit yield. They lived unhappily ever after, wishing they had taken good care of their plants instead of letting their greed ruin everything. The moral of this story is that one should be grateful for what they have, and be mindful not to lose it all by always wanting more. Oh, that was actually really good! The end. Mm -hmm. That's just the same as the goose that laid golden eggs. Yes. Well, might as well hurt poultry murder a bit. There are two things you can take away from this. First, now by pointing this out, you just get a perfectly enjoyable story of its ability to enchain. You ripped its core open and broke it, rendering it worthless, exactly the way a greedy crystal pumpkin farmer would. Second, I bet you thought pumpkins were vegetables. They're gourds, right? Yeah? Like squash. Oh no! Enter. Ooh, here's the fire. No! Is there an up? There's an up. Let's go. Ooh! No. Oh boy. We're already messing up. Hmm. Okay, so these look like we're gonna be going in and out of the mountain. I'm sorry! Ooh, that's, that's kinda different. Also, did we just mess up? I hope we didn't. We did not. Oh, uh, this will take a better. Uh, there we go. It can double jump? It can follow me? Oof. Uh, nothing to the left. No! Oh boy! No! Okay, we did not die. But he's gonna fall to his doom again. No, he didn't. Right, right. That one's safe. 
it's others that are silly and will come up with their jokes. Like that one. Hmm. Oh, what? Yo, could you not, please? Bye! <laughs> To hit them? I think I do. No. All right, nothing else to do there. Ooh. Ooh, no. Ah. Almost bad. Very angry man. Er, villager. Hmm, there's an up that direction. Where though? Huh. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. At least I think I get it. Yeah, yeah. So if I fall. Hold up, hold up. Let me try that again. No, okay, okay. There might be something really cool here. Aha! Go, bird! Ooh, neat! Okay, okay, I see. Ooh, these ones spit fire! Do it from this side. Ah, yes. Oh, I see. And... This way? Nope, not me. Hit 
am I? Oh my god, I go back somehow, like, in, in the future? Okay. Oh, I see. Down. Oh no. Oh jeez, I should have gone to the safe point first. Ah no! Hey, it's the crystal pumpkin! Hold up. Does that mean that like, in every place- <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god, I just realized that means that every story that shopkeeper has been telling me is true. If you remember back at the sunken shrine, I pointed out that there was like a thing in the water. That was the salt mill. That was the mill that the jealous sister like took out on into the water and because she didn't know how to turn it off. That's why the ocean's salty, it never stopped turning. Oh my god. <gasps> oh! And then also, over at, um, over at Glacial Peak, I remember seeing, like, there was, like, there were two people in case in ice. That was the other story. Oh my god. Like, level of detail. Oh, no. Oh my god. It's okay, because we're right here. And we already got the um the voodoo. The voodoo piece. Please, 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 please. No. It's okay, it goes faster. Oh. first is save. I don't want to end up dying. No. Oh boy. Nope. Oh man. This is gonna be rough. But yeah, there's definitely something up there. At least it's only it's only one more screen. Ah, man. I'm guessing these birds will just like fly off the screen. Yep, they will. Hmm. This is very intriguing. Yep. Oh man. Oh my god, we made it.
Oh no. No, no, no. Excellent. Uh, okay, there's nothing else over there. So we just have to continue our climb up right. Ooh, a time portal. Ah. Uh, um. We need to go right first. This looks exciting. Oh, oh my, what is this? Oh, I see. I think I see. Come on. Yes. Come on, come on. Oh my god, we have to move quickly from the left to the right, I think. Oh, we made it. How many pieces did that leave? Um, we've, we're missing one, and it's it's closer to the base of the mountain, so that's not too big of an issue. But we can get it. Um, we can get it on a pretty quick uh, like return. Trip. Ah, the various platform. The worst kind of platform. What do you got for me, my man? Nothing. Alright. Oof. Very angry. Very angry, indeed. Very dumb, indeed. 1001 time shards in. All right. Let's do this. I did not realize. Oh, look who it is. How punctual of you, messenger. What really is you? I thought you died during the explosion in the underworld. You think that's all it would take to get rid of me? I told you once, you son of a scribe. I'm the fastest there's ever been. Release the Phobigans now and be gone, demon, or I'll defeat you again. Oh, I wouldn't drag you all the way out of here just to lose another duel. See this magic seed? It is almost done absorbing voodoo energy. And when it's ready, you will see who has the last laugh. Voodoo energy? In this land, fear can be... Converted. And when it comes to fear, these little guys are an endless supply. In order to fully charge the magic seed, I need to scare them good. For that effect, I should thank you for stepping right into my trap. And by trap, I mean voodoo altar. Oh no, purple. Now don't move, messenger. It's not like you could anyway. <laughs> Exclamation marks? Surprise? Panic? Ugh. At last, the Dark Messenger is born. The heart of Fire Mountain awaits you two, where I place voodoo idols with the perfect enchantment to damage greed demons. What are you talking about? Get to enough idols first, and Dark Horrible will be defeated. They... I think they mis misspelled defeated. Fail and you will lose your own protector, leaving you completely exposed for the Dark Messenger to take your life. So let us see how you fare in a race against yourself, ninja. You won't get away with this. Look on the bright side. You won't have to see what happens to the Phobikins next. Oh, I don't like this at all. Please save us. Enough of your complaining. Now, how does the saying go? Oh, yeah. Godspeed, messenger. <laughs> Okay, not cool. Hey, why didn't you show up earlier? I'm not talking to Pirate Face. Pirate Face? Oh, uh, that dude. Hmm? Look, can we just prevent this? I'd rather not die. I didn't even know you could die. Quick, let's go!
Do we need to get to Voodoo Idols? <gasps> Look who it is! That outfit. It must be from, from the clan that taught me how to cloud step. Is this... Is this the only time we see her in the future style? I feel like it is. It's probably me. Quibble! What? Hey, monk. I found another clue related to the cultists. What? The primal fear can wait. I think we're at one of the branching points mentioned by the prophet. Oh, with that horrible guy? Yes, it all makes sense now. Please look after them. Right away. What are you doing here? Oh well. I guess now we need to do the classic fight against our dark selves. Uh... Get this. What? You got anything for me? What am I supposed to do here? I'm not sure what's going on, but I strongly suggest you give your best shot to this race against your evil twin. Any stories? I do, but you should really get back to chasing the Dark Messenger. I will tell you a good one after you stay at the day. Okay. Voodoo Heart! Wow, what a name. Wow, what a name. Hmm. You know what? Actually, we'll save this for next time, because I feel like this is going to be exciting and potentially long. Alright, thanks for following along. Hope you're excited for next time.